Harry and Alwyn have been debating the pros and cons of children and technology for most of their meal. What age do you think is the right age for your children? So if, what, if they came to you in the morning and asked, can we go on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever it might be, if you said no, what age would you say yes at? So when my eldest was 12, he did ask for a phone for his confirmation because all the other kids in the class were asking for phones for the yep. confirmation. I said to him, well, no, because I don't want you to get a thing. Like in our house, we focus on experiences. We agreed that the point at which he would get a phone would be after the junior cert. So they've got the phone. I have full kind of control on it and dip in and dip out and, you know, just to kind of maintain a watchful eye because okay. I think it's a kind of a scary place. I think as a parent, uh, the fears about technology that she expressed are common fears that I think a lot of parents share. Do you not think that your kids are potentially missing out on social interactions and relationships that other children have access no, to? No, because do you know what they do? They actually call around for their friends <laughs> and then encourage mm. their friends to come out. Yeah, but can it not be a mix of both? How do you mean? Well, Every, so obviously I, I fully encourage that any child goes out and has fun and, and social interaction, but even in time when it's dark and it's cold and it's wet and it's raining, do you not see the benefit of allowing them to open up Snapchat or have a conversation with somebody <laughs> that way? Um, no. Is there, what, what's the danger though, I suppose? What's the benefit? We all know that anybody can create any kind of persona online and, you know, all those grooming stories and...